So, anybody thinking about moving to this country or anybody living here now, I would highly suggest rethinking your plans. I mean, everybody saw the debate, so we all know this country's going to shit no matter what. I'm mom. I have three beautiful boys. I have a husband. And life is so incredibly hard here. Pay $2,100 a month for rent. I can't get a loan for a house because of credit. I try to get a loan to pay off all of our debt. But can't do that because you don't have the credit. Can't afford a $1,600 home loan. But we can afford a $2,100 rent payment. We have to move because our landlord is selling her house. And everywhere is $2,400, $2,500. Some places are $3,000 for rent. It is so hard to breathe living here. And my state is one of the cheaper states. <laughs> We're not okay. It's hard being a parent. It's hard keeping your kids safe. It's hard keeping a roof over our head at this point because... Fuck. Everything costs an arm and a leg. Groceries are... Thousand dollars a month. You got three growing, growing boys, and uh, they each add a house and home. So, if anybody knows anywhere to live that doesn't cost twenty four hundred dollars a month for rent, that allows you to have pets. I have a service dog, and our youngest dog has been there, been with us for nine years. He'll be nine in September. And my cat can't go anywhere without my cat. I love my cat. Anywhere. We're not okay. This is... I don't know how any of you guys are going and going and going. I know you gotta be at the same level of mental health as me. Every day it's something new. Between the fucking news and the fucking stupid Biden and stupid Trump. And this, this country's fucked. Every day we're spending more and more money. None of us are getting ahead. The rich people are the ones that are fucking getting ahead. I'm tired of struggling. I've done everything I can. I'm trying to be a good man. I take care of my daughter. I take care of my wife. <laughs> the best I can. I can't keep going. Every day it's something new. And then on top of that, as if you're not trying to spend money, you have to. <laughs> Fucking everything's expensive. I own a painting company. I still can't fucking make it. I'm fucking trying, man. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the Only Begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit, and double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And Shalom to all Yuakim and Yuakwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation, a day in the life of an American Edomite. These devils are catching hell. Knowing it's all foretold, it's all prophecy. As you see here, I have queued up Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, verse 7. And you, we saw the video, the openings of these Edomites uh, and their you know, um, TikTok confessions where they sit in the vehicle, cry out all their struggles financially, all right, the issues they're going through, not being able to make ends meet, having to constantly work, etc., blah, 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 okay, 
welcome to the average life of an Israelite. All right. These curses that we've experienced, the Lord said we couldn't avoid. Now they're starting to take hold of you. As we see here, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, and the Lord, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuteth thee. I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, the Lord, your power will inflict all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate and persecute you. When you read Deuteronomy, uh, not Deuteronomy, Psalm, the 83rd chapter, the number one enemy mentioned are the Edomites, which are the so-called white people. All right. Um, and with these other nations, all right, these other nations that are non-Israelites are our enemies. So these curses of the Lord, which we're going to go and through some, uh, go through some of these curses that the Lord put on us, you know, in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right, for being disobedient. But um, we're seeing that these curses are now taking hold of them. OK. And by the way, they hate and persecuted us. These devils are currently in rulership. So the average Edomite in America uh, is actually catching hell. Right. While the elites continue to push forward on a new world order agenda and hoarder all the resources for themselves. Uh, he's evil to himself. Matter of fact, let me bring out a scripture. And. Uh, and I'll go back. Let's see. Sirach 14. Yeah, I'll just hit the point. Sirach 14 and 5, it says, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. This devil is evil to his own self. You know, he'll take out his own people for his agenda. He doesn't give a damn. And he'll be willing to see his own people starve just to uh, hoard the resources for himself. He's greedy. Okay. So, you know, this devil's ruling, you know, which shouldn't be any Edomite struggling. <laughs> but as we see, that's not the case. All right. But going back to Deuteronomy 30 and 7 in the NLT, it says the Lord, your power will inflict all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate and persecute you. And uh, when you read Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, because, you know, these devils have persecuted us. They hate us and good for them. It's good to see that our enemies uh, go down and they're struggling and catching hell, all right, right before they go into uh, slavery, okay, which will end off on Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Ezekiel 35, verse 1 says, moreover the, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is location in Edom, where the Edomites had dwelled. All right, but this is speaking of a people, the Edomites. It says, and prophesy against it. Verse three, and say unto it, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, behold, O Mount Seir, all right, behold, O Mount Seir, the Edomites, I am against thee. So the Lord is against you, so-called white people. All right, it says, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Okay, verse four, I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, the center point in these modern times of the Edomites rulership is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which the Lord is going to lay America desolate. This is the center point in prophecy. All right. Revelation 18 chapter, the aftermath, which this land is going to be destroyed. So it makes sense as to uh, deterioration, and witnessing the downfall, uh, systematic breakdown um, that that's taking effect on America. All right. Again, the center and the main hub of the Edomites empire. All right. The Lord's going to lay this land of, of America desolate. Now, verse five, here's the point says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred an ongoing hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. 
in the time of what calamity? The time of our punishment, you know, uh, the curses that the Lord put upon us, the hell that we are catching, all right, in this captivity, all right? They've constantly put hell upon the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, from, you know, to think about the slave trade of how, you know, uh, we were being, you know, forced into slavery, uh, traded in auction blocks, uh, whipped, deleted, thrown overboard, you know, during the slave trade, you know, on those, uh, those cargo slave ships, all right? And to this day, being, you know, shot down, uh, being thrown into prison wrongfully, um, deleted constantly, all right? put to deletions constantly, man, by the Edomites. And again, all these other nations as well played a part. Okay, but this proving the point that these these Edomites have had a perpetual hatred against Jake, which Jake are the Israelites. All right? So, it reads on, verse 6, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, saith thou, has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So now the Lord is on your head. He's on y'all asses, man. And it begins with these curses that they're experiencing. All right. So just proving the point that they've had a perpetual hatred uh, against the Israelites. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. Yes, we have enemies. And on them that hate thee. And yes, they hate us. All right. They've made a crafty council and they confederate against the Israelites. All these heathens pursuing a song in the 83rd chapter have come together to plot and scheme against destroying us and keeping us down. All right. Which the Lord gave them the blueprint to do so because this was a part of our um, downfall and uh, destruction for being disobedient unto the Lord. It says, which persecuteth thee. So now, what are some of these curses? All right. Deuteronomy 28. And th this is uh, the first 14 verses are going into the blessings. You know, should we, if we were obedient unto the Lord. Now, when you hit verse 15, it starts going into the curses. So. As I jump around, one of the curses that stick out is Deuteronomy 28 and 20. It says, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou sittest thine hand, or settest thine hand un, unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thy perish quickly. I'm going to read that in NLT. It says, the Lord himself will send on you curses, confusion and frustration in everything you do okay until at last you are completely destroyed so you see that they're uh, frustrated they're catching hell every step they take forward is two steps back for the average American Edomite having to work jobs that they didn't go to school for you know they didn't they didn't get a degree for now they are having to resort to working multiple jobs you know struggling to make ends meet. Um, you got a lot of Edomites on, you know, uh, food stamps and WIC. All right, the media doesn't promote that. All they talk about is Jake. All right? So they're catching hell. They're frustrated. Every time they uh, try to get forward and progress, you know, <laughs> they, the Lord pull, it, pull their asses back. These are the curses that we've experienced for many years. And still undergoing to this day. All right. So reading the, um, the entirety of uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 20 says the Lord shall send upon the curses, cursing, vexation and rebuke <laughs> and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. Did we not see examples of that in the, in the video in the previous, you know, in the opening of this lesson? You know, TikTok confessions, right? car confessions where these is these uh Salaki, these edomites express their their frustrations it says until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings 
whereby thou hast forsaken me. And now speaking of the Israelites forsaking Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, which again are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans. By the way, there's Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth um, by way of curses, right? And so you're going to have Israelites by blood who look like heathens. Okay, verse 21, if that makes sense for, you know, any of you newcomers. But verse 21 says, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. What are some of these pestilences, which are diseases, cancer is at all time high for these Edomites, uh, as well as like, uh, you can look it up as well, cardiovascular diseases, you know, heart failures are taking hold of a lot of Edomites, right? Deuteronomy 28 and 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. <laughs> I'm going to read this in 28, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 28 in the NLT. The Lord will strike you with madness. We're going to go into the word madness. What does that mean? It says madness is craziness. <laughs> um, wild, erratic, and irrational behavior or nature. So Esau is losing his mind. That's why he's often himself, well, his family and then himself. All right. When uh, you, we've heard many stories, especially just 2024 alone, of Edomites taking out their whole family and themselves because they don't want their children to struggle financially, you know, and they can't take life anymore. <laughs> OK, that's madness. NLT says Deuteronomy 28 and 28, the Lord will strike you with madness, blindness and panic. And they're panicking. They're panicking. With the panicking, reality is smacking their asses in the face, uh, reminding them right, that there's no American dream for them. Them too. The American dream is a nightmare. All right. And it applies to them as well. That makes it even worse. Deuteronomy 28 and 30 says, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. All right. There's, there's division amongst the Edomite household. Right, the, the wives are being whores, right? Sleeping around, okay? You know, uh, not being dedicated to the household, right? Their division is splits within the Edomites family. A double whammy, all right? It says, Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Let me see. And that's pretty much, you know, some of the highlights of, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to read Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in a one of all things. So eventually, as these curses continue to take hold of these devils, these Edomites, you know, it's going to fully consume them where. You know, they're going to have to serve us because contrary to popular belief, and for those who may not know, the Israelites are about to rule. Yahweh is coming back, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And upon his return, when America is, you know, as America is destroyed as well via nuclear destruction, these Edomites are going, and these other nations are going to go head first in the hardcore slavery, double the time that we went. So it's going to be a thousand years. OK, and they're going to have to come to us for everything. All right. But they're going to be constantly working. Right. To rebuild the kingdom, to clean up the this this land, uh, not this land, I'm not speaking of America, but meaning the land over in the Middle East from the dead bodies, etc. All right. Rebuilding the kingdom. Right. Again, America will be destroyed and laid desolate. It's never going to be inhabited again. All right. So they're going to serve us. Now it says, and in nakedness and in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, a yoke of iron. All right. Literally a yoke, a chain, uh, chains. And, um, let me see. 
going to the word yoke. Yeah, you see, there's a depiction there with uh, the cattle. Um, it says, uh, pretty much, you know, uh, you know, chains. You know, you look at uh, the the slaves. You know, when we were slaves in hardcore slavery, we had yoke upon our necks. It says, yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. This is uh, the beginning stages with these curses being put on our enemies of uh, a bigger, a bigger, grander scale of things, all right, which is slavery for these heathen nations. Isaiah 14 and 1 says, For the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, will have mercy on Jacob. All right, Jacob represents the Israelites. You know, you know the Lord is going to have, is having mercy on his people. Okay, and that, and that starts with, you know, the elect the chosen out of nation Israel, who will be the first fruits in the kingdom. But the Lord is going to eventually save all Israel, right? Because it, the, the kingdom is for the Israelites, all right? So the Israelites are going to inherit the promises, the covenant that that he, that he the Lord gave to his people, all right? And says, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, the land of Israel. That's our land, okay? And... So the Lord's going to come back and set us in that land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers are Israelites. They're foreign Israelites. It says, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2, and the people shall take them, take possess, right? And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, slaves. So the curses are becoming overwhelming for these heathen nations, specifically speaking of the Edomites. And eventually they're going to have yokes and iron upon their neck and be forced into captivity. Right. To be our servants and handmaids, it says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. The roles are going to reverse and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right. So the day in the life of an Edomite is this is just the beginning stages, right? You know, the curses that is befalling our enemy is just the beginning stages. There's more to come. It gets worse from here, Esau. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.